This is Yael from Yael Alchemy, and I'm here to bring you the weekly Twin Flame message for the week of April the 29th to May 5th. Okay, uh, first of all, thanks for everyone who showed their concern. Uh, you might have heard that there was an earthquake here in the Philippines. I think it was magnitude 6.1. Yes, and uh, and I felt it. The epicenter wasn't where I was, but uh, I felt it. And I think um, I, I told you guys through my Facebook and my, I think, Instagram page um, and the comments in last week's video uh, that I was fine. Actually, that was the first earthquake. And it was quite um, scary because it was... Uh, it was shaking for, for a very long time. Now, if you come from the Philippines or some somewhere in Southeast Asia, you would know that um, we're not strangers to earthquakes. Uh, they come and go. Usually the foreigners, they, they're the ones who panic the most because they're not used to it. So we're used to little quakes here and there. Uh, nothing really to worry about, although we prepare for them. But this time it was um, uh, very... <laughs> It was the earth was shaking for so long, and uh, you might not have followed that story, but there were two other quakes that came after that. One was a magnitude six point three uh, around uh, because we're on archipelago, and this time it was in the middle islands, and then there was a four uh, magnitude four point something uh, in the bottom part of the islands and uh well i hope that's the last of it um there are some who are fear mongering um that this is in preparation for the big one but we're all preparing for the big one anyway which we are we call the event anyway uh thank you for all your well wishes and uh i truly appreciate it actually <clears throat> <clears throat> that week of the earthquake, um, on April 24 to the 27th, uh, my office had an out-of-town seminar. That's why I couldn't confirm all your orders, because the internet there was potty. And besides, it was a whole day seminar. And I hesitated to go uh, to to participate because it was so far from where I was and I didn't know if there was uh, aftershocks and of course during times like those uh, you want to be close with your 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 dear ones your loved ones but uh, there was um, I could have backed out but uh, there was something that urged me to go and uh, I think in hindsight, I, I know the reason why I was put out there. Uh, it's really in the middle of nature. And uh, basically, um, because during that time, um, during that time, that, that was a time of uh, increased... Uh, geomagnetic resonance and uh, the solar flares that were bombarding the earth and that's why either today yesterday uh, a lot of light workers have felt this because it's all part of the collective purging that we're doing um, in time for this energy that just came in actually uh, sometime around uh, yesterday for those in my time zone um, and uh, this is the the energy of the awakening of the dove okay so it's a start, but all of this uh, are interconnected because when you have this massive energy coming in that really connects you um, to the heart, it's it's like a big portal wherein you're you're able to hold yourself with with love and. Um, receive uh, these new frequencies of light that are pulsing from this expanded framework uh, 
to make us ready for this full shift of consciousness okay um and uh Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm jumping ahead because uh, I want to explain why this collective purge is going on and its effect on your physicality. And that's why even this morning, yesterday and this morning, uh, I felt very heavy. Uh, I thought it was just uh, from being tired from, from that outing. But like I said before, that had a purpose because uh, of this collective purging, uh, the solution is really to ground, and that's why I was put there out in nature um, uh, to be able to do that. I can't do that if I'm in the city surrounded by buildings, and that's why it was important that I was there, okay? So, go look at what happened uh, in the past couple of days with you, uh, because uh, there's a deeper purpose why you were placed where you were during the past couple of days. And now, uh, the body's feeling the effects of that collective purging, and it may come out in... Um, uh, some have felt nausea, uh, body malaise, uh, basically your asc ascension symptoms, uh, because uh, we're helping um, the Earth, and this is a planetary influence. Okay, it's it's not just confined to light workers, um, and it's because. This is to make us ready to accept that dove energy, to be receivers of the dove energy that is being dispensed at the moment. So that is the connection of the collective purging, uh, to empty ourselves so that we can fill ourselves with a different kind of energy. And this energy is in preparation of the shift. You know what, uh, also when I came back the next day, even if I was very tired, I had to go to this event. Of course, it was the Avengers event, but it was uh, it was a block screening that was sponsored by my alma mater, okay, because of a uh, homecoming. Anyway, um, it all coincided because uh, I studied in the School of the Holy Spirit. Okay, and that is exactly what the dove energy represents, the coming down of the Holy Spirit. And this Holy Spirit, if you, if you are, um, if you're familiar with Catholic doctrine, it's, the Holy Spirit is part of the Triune God. Okay, uh, translated, you have um, the Triune God and the third energy would be the Holy Spirit. So, because the Divine Feminine has done their job, and the Divine Masculine is ascending at such a rate that they will come into their wholeness as a Divine Masculine, equal to where the Divine Feminines are, that's why the third energy now, which is um, the awakening of the Dove, the Holy Spirit, and this awakening of the Dove is, has been prophesied by the Mayan calendar, okay? Uh, that third energy can now make its entrance, which it has done so. But this is the awakening. There is more to come, okay? So that is the third energy, um, which is um, the Dove energy that is coming down here. Look at this. This comes from the Bellini Oracle deck, and that is represented by the Dove, the Holy Spirit, okay? And this card is called uh, Grace, uh, the Holy Spirit descending, okay? And look at the number. It's number 49, okay? 49 and uh, 9, nearing completion, and you have 4 there, which is uh, also completion, okay? But not in terms of numerology. Um, 4, 9, and you have 13. That's a master number. Okay, so it's coming down now. And here, so during this period wherein we're, we're awakening, uh, we are receiving these energies that have been brought on by the awakening of the dove energy. Uh, the the object is really to be able to hold ourselves with love, patience, and compassion within the framework of a human imperfection. Okay, so this is this is it's like a big shift 
from the action of self-judgment, um, which creates an internal separation, which has been a big problem for the divine masculines, because they held their, themselves to that patriarchal standard. Okay, those old paradigms wherein they had to be the three Ps, you know, provider, um, uh, powerful, and uh, I forget the other P. Uh, patriarch, I guess. Yeah, so those, those, um, and they have, that has resulted in a lot of self-judgment, which was a big block for the divine masculines to, that they had to overcome. And now we're moving um, in a state of grace, wherein there is self-acceptance for all, all your mistakes, all your idiosyncrasies, and this self-acceptance is really the full expression of this self-love. Okay, so during this period, I'm uh, we were given by the Pleiadians by a, a sacred sound frequency that's going to support uh, all of us to build our heart connection. And I forget to mention, you know what the the I don't know what you call the motto of, of my school was, because the school of the Holy Spirit. And <clears throat> I've always loved this motto because it really resonated with me. And the motto of our school was truth in love. Because, of course, you have to be authentic when you're in that energy. Okay, and to help us resonate with truth and love, the Pleiadians gave us a sacred uh, sound frequency that will support in building your heart connection with each moment that you encounter here, here on end going forward. Okay, and uh, this is pronounced I N Ta I N. Okay, I'm flashing it on your screen now. It's pronounced I N Ta I N. And I did it while meditating um, before giving this reading. And I'm telling you, it's like a it's like a bullet train to your multidimensional self. I don't know how else to describe it, but it very quickly raises your frequency. Okay, so uh, that's being flashed on your screen and. Um, uh, use it when you can, when you're in the moment and you're using your heart. Okay, so I know it's quite lengthy, but these were important messages for you to receive. Anyway, let's get on with the reading. Um, at the bottom of the deck, and this is for next week, okay, we have the Ten of Earth, okay, Ten of Earth, and the Ten of Earth signifies a completion, and uh, I strongly feel that this is because a certain phase being completed here on Earth, and here we have the Nine of Water, and you can see here, very faint, but look at the, how her heart is glowing, and she's receiving the light the grace of the Holy Spirit, okay? And here we have the Eight of Fire. Eight of Fire corresponding to the Eight of Wands, meaning very fast. This is the speed at which this energy will be um, disseminated to all on the planet. And I say all, okay? So those who are conscious, um, Yes, we have to get on with helping the collective purge, okay? Uh, but this is so this energy can come in, okay? Because that's going to come in fast. And then we have the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, beginning. Cups, heart, love, a new beginning in love. And this is what we were building all throughout. And then... We have the six of um, air, which means that all this, while it is difficult right now, it's leading to something better, okay? It's leading to balance. You can see here the black and the white, and then they are unified by this heart. And uh, this deck, I was, I, uh, I was instructed to use it for this reading, so I'm kind of not surprised. You can see here... 
okay it's perfect balance coming in of the divine feminines and the divine masculines and uh, look at what's shooting through a crown chakra uh, you can see that rainbow of light but it's not only in her crown chakra it goes down through all her chakras chakras held together by this heart and the message here is balance you can see the caduceus uh, she holds the caduceus there and that's it for the general energies now for the divine masculine we have here desire we have here the ten of fire the eight of water and the four of air okay so we start now here with desire okay now the divine masculine has been building uh, his way up to executing his um, his true wants his true desires he had a difficult time really trying to figure out what he wanted because he was going with the flow except that it was the wrong flow because it, that belonged to the old paradigm it wasn't really his personal flow or the flow of the universe but it was the flow of what society expected of him but now he's owning his own desires his own wants and he's very well i wouldn't say belligerent but um determined would be a better word determined now to create this you can see the the orange dragon here because and it's orange because that corresponds to the um sacral chakra which is where the seat of pleasure resides what gives you pleasure okay but now this is more enlightened with the third eye and he is going after this with the precision of this ego which is a predator okay so there's the tenacity there is the focus and there is the the desire really to seek that out and here you can see the lotus flower and that is corresponding to his root chakra so now it's not greed it, it's the lotus flower here which uh, signifies um, uh, higher aspirations and he's doing that with his um third eye open okay so we have that's for the divine masculine and the next card that we have here is the ten of fire and this is like i said this is their baptism by fire uh that's why i offered um uh, last week as an easter special the the advanced reshiba specifically for males to help them okay now this is what they're supposed to be going through right now it's like a baptism by fire to awaken them so that they can get in sync with the energies that the earth is experiencing and the collective is experiencing now and um which is why i've decided to extend that promo for one more week uh for those who who might think that their divine masculines uh still need this this is opening all of them up enabling them to walk in divine light opening up all their chakras and it needs that very strong fire energy to do that and that's what rashiba gives as opposed to reiki and uh other other energies and uh that is the peculiar thing and the unique thing about the rashiba energy so here opening them up all at the same time in preparation for this uh, awakening of the dove energy because they have to assume the position similar to the divine feminines who have been in position already for a time and they've got to catch up right and this needs to happen so that the third energy can emerge and while the third energy is emerging now in the form of the dove energy uh some have still have to catch up and that's a ten of fire for the divine masculines and underneath the ten of fire we have the eight of uh water and the eight of water uh unlike what the rider weight deck we're in the eight of cups okay signifies uh leaving something that is no longer tenable that you once held 
uh, much fondness for. Here, the aid of water signifies joy, but this joy is brought on by this balance already. You can see the full moon there, but uh, instead of walking towards the full moon, it's like this uh, guy is already um, basking in the resonance of the full moon with the third eye open, and you can see here the dolphins. And the dolphins, uh, look at this, they're in the symbol of the yin and yang. It's achieving balance uh, of the divine masculines once this has achieved. So fire is the mode uh, by which uh, they shall be awakened. And once they are, they find balance. You see here the sun. You see here the moon. And this is where the divine masculines have to be so that they can support the Divine Feminine, and both of them, the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, uh, really paving the way so that the third energy, which is the Holy Spirit, can come in, okay, and really bless humanity, okay, because, well, even some Catholics don't know this, but once you get baptized in the Holy Spirit, okay, the Holy Spirit gives certain gifts. And before my awakening into my ascension path, uh, of course, you follow the, the religion that your parents taught you and the traditions. Anyway, uh, there was a time wherein I was baptized by the Holy Spirit. And you get certain gifts. You can either get the gift of tongues, the gift of discernment, the gift of um, weeping, which I have also. Okay, the gift of weeping, the gift of healing, the gift of inter interpreting. Uh, some people, when somebody speaks in tongues, they can interpret that very well, and that is a gift. Okay, at that time, I was given the gift of healing. My palms burned up, but it was it took a long time because I didn't know how to use it within um, my field of study. Uh, I just didn't know how to use it. But now that I'm in my mission and healing other people from very distant places, uh, people that I do not know the faces of, but just recognize their energy. It's uh, now I know how to use that gift that the Holy Spirit gave me at that time. Okay, so anyway, I just mentioned that because as soon as um, the the this dove energy descends fully then we will be the recipient of these gifts of the Holy Spirit. And that's going to help in this, um, in, in the new beginning born out of love and out of the heart that we are all working towards. Okay, so there, that's, that's for the Divine Masculine. And then we have here the Four of Air. And here, the Four of Air, this is... Um, this is a, a conscious energy that has to do with time. That this, all this, it's almost, uh, they have to be synchronized, okay? Uh, because it's time for it to happen right now. And here, uh, four is a number of uh, stability. So there is discipline there when it comes to the divine masculine. And really, Pulling himself out of that um, uh, stupor or the sleep that they've been having for quite a long time. And now it's time for them to get in position. Okay, so this is a very disciplined synchronicity uh, given the, the, the energetics of our planet at this time. And the card we have here is the Four of Cups. And look... Here we have the vision of uh, the f different phases of the moon. This is going to be sort of the their emotions, okay, uh, which they are now no longer resisting as much as they did before because they're in the throes of their enlightenment and their awakening. Look, this is going to be the lubricant through all the the transformation and towards the fullness of the divine masculine 
And once that is done, you can see that in the middle, there's this pearl. And Spirit is saying that that's why it took a long time also for the Divine Masculines. You don't create a pearl overnight. It starts with a single grain of sand going into the, the, the clam. I think it's clam, right? Not an oyster. Or do oysters have pearl? Oysters, I guess. Inside the oyster. Yeah, 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 I remember. I remember finding a pearl while eating some oysters. Yeah, so there, in the fullness of the Divine Masculine, it starts with a single grain of sand, and just a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, a little bit of time. The nature does the rest, and then you have the perfect pearl, all created by those bits and pieces of debris. And you know what sand is composed of, right? It's dead coral, uh refuse of um, um, carcasses of marine animals that's what makes the sand and look how it has been transformed and that is how the divine masculine is being transformed and will be transformed once he gets into this fullness but it is a process and it is a process that they are now cognizant of that timing it's precious because they may have dilly-dallied for a long time, but now uh, they're being called uh, because of synchronicity, all this, and even what's happening in our planet. Okay, let's now go to the Divine Feminines. First, we have the Child. Then we have the Four of Earth. Then we have the Union card. And then we have the Seven of Water. Okay, we start off here with the child. And the child not only indicates beginnings, but this indicates magical beginnings. The violet roses here indicate it's, it's like the, the silver violet flame of Saint Germain and Lady Portia. This is what happens once there is that transformation. Because remember, we are transmuting the energy of the planet so that it can be childlike again and it can start fresh, start anew. You. you can see the rays here pouring down onto the child, which is, look, what kind of rays are those? Those are the rays of the Holy Spirit, okay? And that's the heralding of the new beginning that is composed of divine feminine, divine masculine, and the third energy. So the divine feminine's really holding that space for that transformation to occur and uh, being very not really optimistic but because when you're a child you don't immediately um think that something's go that something will go wrong no you have that wide-eyed innocence that things will turn in your favor and this is a good energy to have for the divine feminines because look they're holding space for this magic the magic of all this transformation to occur hold on okay i thought i shut down my video okay and the next card we have here for the divine feminines is the four of earth and this is stability this is holding up the precipice that uh, that is necessary for this new beginning to become successful. And you can see here that this man, he isn't doing it um, unscathed, okay? He's like Atlas, holding the world. And, um, but the, the, the images in this card uh, portray more. Because look, he's holding up, and you can see the brick there that has this, this B. And the bees, these are worker bees, okay? Um, and bees have very uh, deep mystical significance uh, because uh, they're one of the most organized creatures in the planet. They communicate with each other from long distances and they build. 
they're responsible for pollinating the earth so that the flora uh, uh, can survive and replicate and look at this so this this energy uh, while this uh, almost uh, very courageous stand that the divine feminines are taking this is in order to support that transformation and this um the work that is being done on mother earth the planet okay and it's taking its toll on some of the divine feminines but never mind that there are much bigger things at stake which is why a lot of the divine feminines are taking the punches so to speak as they come because they realize that it's all part and parcel of uh, holding the fort while all this come in divine masculines getting ready uh, the dove energy coming in holding that fort for look for this for union and this doesn't only pertain to your physical union with your twin this is the union of the divine feminine and the uh, divine feminine and the divine masculine merging within the divine feminine within the divine masculine on a macro scale this union of um this peace on the planet okay seeing the other's point of view wanting to come into a compromise wherein we all want what is in the highest good of the planet okay and this is not just um how do you say it wishful thinking because among the humans politics will always exist and that is a platform that we have to rise above okay uh, because remember if if twins have their own pace at which they awaken and that's the twins already what more with the humans okay uh, so this is uh, this is something that that uh, you have to take on a micro and a macro level and not just uh, focusing on how your relationship your physical relationship with your twin flame will play out okay because you know this awakening of the dove energy that's coming in okay right now and probably settle next couple of weeks uh the purpose of of the holy spirit coming down the dove energy is to receive the christ race within humanity okay and it's going to open this higher spectrum of spiritual and physical renewal of this energy within the populace okay and uh, that's why there is the collective purging so this can come in so that is receding the christ race and uh, that's why we have been working towards uh, opening the higher heart, okay, which is the Christed heart. Okay, so there. And after this, we have here the seven of water. And what does the seven of water mean? The seven of water lies after union, okay, and it lies below the child. And this seven of water, this is surrender. You can see the energy of the Divine Feminines now. They go where they are taken because there is a purpose. There is a bigger purpose. They go, this is surrender, this is a total lack of resistance because they have to assume now the position of where they would be the most help in. Okay, especially if you are a Divine Feminine and you are able with your light uh, to help uh, this planet so you may be called to a different grid point uh, before you were being called to anchor in some energies uh, but now this is to help others because those energies that you were called to anchor already came in but now this is uh, a, because everybody's going to receive this energy now Okay, not just twins and what you're being called to do is to 
remove all that resistance. Okay, be very childlike and innocent. Uh, and you know, when you're a child and an, an adult takes you by the hand, uh, you rarely question because you know that you know, especially of course, not strangers who are out to abduct, uh, nothing like that. But you know, when somebody, an elder, your your parents, uh, take your hand and bring you somewhere and you're a child, you follow without question. And that is the energy. Look, her eyes are even closed. Her physical eyes are closed, but not her third eye. Because she knows that's where she's being led, to this place where it's going to be better okay and for the card we have here we have here the sun okay and the sun um all encompassing it reaches through all of the planet you see pine cones again uh symbolizes the receding of the christ race you know why pine cones fall and then their seeds are scattered so we can make new pine trees it's like that and here we have the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine and the Christed Heart. Very rich in symbolism, these cards. But all this is being done by the Divine Feminines to, to really um, amplify that energy of light so that the most people can receive it. So look at this. Again, water. Again, fire. And let's see, uh, at least for this week, what connecting card we have here for both the Divine Feminines and the Divine Masculines. Okay. Okay, integrity. Okay. And like I said, this all ties, ties down to truth and love. Your heart has to have that much authenticity and integrity. And all these steps are being taken towards that. Okay? You cannot teach others, help others, if your heart is not pure. If there is no truth in the love that you give. Because love will be their teacher. And that's what they're going to perceive. So there must be some integrity when you do that. Okay, so that's what I have for you. It's going to be a very interesting week. I hope no more earthquakes or other natural disasters in my part of the world or other parts of the world. Um, and uh, like I said earlier, I am going to extend the Easter specials because I wasn't able to promote them also. Because, you know, uh, the first part of the week, we were reeling from the earthquake. The latter part of the week, oh... Uh, I had to go to that seminar wherein it was really, it, it's like being an undercover spy wherein my mission was really to ground in that area, but it was under the pretext of doing something for work. So anyway, uh, for those who want to help their divine masculines or really achieve this, uh, I'm extending the advanced Rashiba sessions for men special, which is 50% off until the end of next week. So that would be on the 4th of May, okay, Sunday next week. Uh, okay, so if you think you're divine masculine or a masculine that you know, because like I said, this energy is planetary now, it's not confined to twin flames, needs to awaken, then this will help. And that's why I'm putting it on sale. This will help activate his divine light, anchor himself to Mother Earth, open his passageways for divine union, turn on the love aspect of his chakras, and ignite sexuality within divine light. Okay, so those, for those uh, who know of any males in their lives that need this, then do consider getting that for them. Okay, and as always, I do ask their higher selves for permission to do the healing in them. If it's not given, which is very rare, uh, I promptly refund and tell you that, uh, I'm sorry, permission wasn't given by his higher self. So no need to worry about that. 
or, you know, impinging on his consent or whatever, because we do ask permission from his higher self. Anyway, and I'm extending also the Rapid Romance reading uh, for just another week. So, and this, uh, this is five questions that are uh, quickly answered, okay? And the questions that are answered in this reading are, what does he or she feel about me? How does she or he view our relationship at present? What does she or he want from me at present? What action will he or she take towards me next? And what message does she or he have for me that she or he can't say yet? Okay, so those are the five questions that are answered in that reading, and it's on an introductory price of $25, okay? And that's only for this week. I'm extending it for just a week more um, because orders are coming in. Uh, and uh, I'd like to give this. this. This was my Easter gift to, to all of you guys, okay? So... Anyway, do consider getting that if you feel that um, you'd like to know more about uh, how your relationship is going. Okay, so that's what I have for you this week, everyone. Take care. Bye.